Hello, hello! So this is going to be a very quick video looking at the differences between a meta report used in North America compared to the rest of the world. If you haven't seen my tutorial on meta reports, I'd recommend watching that first so you can understand what a meta is. So let's launch straight into this one. As I talk through it, you'll notice the layout and the order of the information is the same. So this report is for KLAX, or Los Angeles International Airport. The report was taken on the 5th of the month at 5.53pm Zulu time, which means it would have been about mid-morning local time. Next we have the winds coming from 280 degrees at 5 knots. Now next we have our first main difference. In North American METARs, the visibility is normally given as statute miles, so in this case it's 10 statute miles, which is obviously very good visibility. Next we have three layers of cloud coverage, then the temperature and the dew point, and then lastly we have our barometric pressure, which is our next difference. So in North America, they measure air pressure in inches of mercury, compared to millibars in other parts of the world. So their METARs give air pressure info as inches of mercury. In this example, it would be 30.11 inches. So after all of the main information, the report gives some additional information as remarks, noted by the RMK in the report. So the first remark, Alpha02, indicates that the report was created by an automated weather station. The 02 indicates that the station has precipitation instruments to measure rain and or snow. Next you have SLP, which stands for Sea Level Pressure. Interestingly enough, this is given in millibars, and the three numbers give the pressure down to a tenth of a millibar. So this example reads SLP193, which means the pressure at sea level is 1019.3 millibars. See how the numbers relate to the end of the pressure reading there. Lastly is some more temperature and dew point information. So this gives the temperature and dew point in more detail, down to a tenth of a degree Celsius. So the first four numbers relate to the temperature, and the last four are the dew points. The first number in for both the temperature and the dew point will either be a zero or a one. If a zero is shown on the report, that means that the temperature is above zero degrees Celsius. If a one is shown, then that shows that the temperature is minus zero degrees Celsius. So in this report, the temperature reading is 0228, which means that the temperature is plus 22.8 degrees Celsius. And then the dew point is 0139, which means that it's 13.9 degrees Celsius. So hopefully that sheds a little bit of light on American METARs. Again, this was a very simple example, but they can contain much more information such as cloud types, rain intensity and variable winds, etc, etc. Anyway, I hope this helped. Many thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.